So here we are again with my little 2013 Suzuki Alto. Today I'm going to check the clutch pedal free play and if necessary adjust it just to where I want it. In the manual for the car it states there should be a small amount of free play before resistance is felt on the clutch pedal where the clutch actually starts to actuate the clutch itself and that measurement should be between 10 and 15 millimeter or 0.4 to 0.6 of an inch. Um, I'm going to measure it with a tape measure or with a measure just to show you how you do that and then if it needs it I'll actually go ahead with the adjustment itself. So if I place the ruler just behind the clutch pedal quite difficult to do this with the camera there but I'm going to use a pencil when I push the pedal down that is the free play before the pedal starts going harder that is important that we have that free play because if there isn't enough movement there the clutch can overheat or it can slip which means when you push the gas pedal down the engine revs will rise but the speed of the car won't if there is too much movement the clutch can do what we call drag which means it it makes it difficult to put it in and out of gear and then it won't release properly when you push the clutch to the floor which means it, it'll always be trying to pull you it won't release completely so this is quite important now I've got roughly just under a centimeter there and I'm going to adjust it uh, from under the bonnet till I get my 15 cent uh, 15 millimeter so here we are under the bonnet and the bit I'm looking for is down on the right hand side and it's this black cable which comes in along here through this bit onto this piece here and the nuts that I'm looking for are on the end there and that's just what I'm going to show you what I'm going to adjust now I suspect my hands are going to get in the way here a little bit but I'll explain to you what I'm doing as I'm doing the job Gonna move the, the light a little bit more. Like I say, it's not. There we go. Right. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put the the bigger spanner on the big nut, as you can see, and the other smaller one on the small nut, like so. I'll turn it around the other way, so as you might be able to move my hands, so as you can see what I'm doing. Right. So they are next to each other on the nut and I'm going to hold the right hand one and I'm going to push the other one forward out of the way. It's quite difficult but I can't get my hands in that properly because my camera is in the way. So what I've, I think that's just slipped off. And again. There we go. So what I've done is I've held the, the right hand spanner. Let's get my hand down. I'm just going to take that out. typical just going to hands right away. But what I've done is I've loosened this so as if I hold this nut and I can't get my hand in there to show you this big nut I can actually loosen off separate to the other one. Let's move that out of the way again. If I show you what I've done I held this nut this one with a 14 millimeter and I held it steady while I pushed that one away so that is now loose. What that allows me to do now is turn this nut which effectively lengthens or shortens this cable. Now I need to lengthen it a little bit so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn this inner nut anti-clockwise which means if the spanner is up the top push it away from you and if you're looking from the left it'll look like it's going the opposite way to a clock. So when you turn it, it's, it's on like a cam. So when you turn it, you get half a turn and then it locks back into place again. Now that has actually increased the amount of play on the pedal. So I've just moved it one click and I'm just gonna go and check that to see whether that's given me back my 15 millimeter play. So I'll be back in just a moment. So I've just checked that and it's not giving me just enough play. So I'm just gonna move it back one more one more turn which is this way it'll be away from me so as it locks and comes back in again it falls back into its little can 
that's made a little bit more play so I'm just going to go and check it again right so I'm just checking that that actually now gives me the amount of play that I need so what I now need to do is lock this nut I'll tighten this back up against this one without turning this again so I'm just going to turn that up like that till it touches now I'm going to need to get my hands in there again to adjust it hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing so 17 millimeter spanner on the big one I'll just get it in the right place turn it back this way so it's a little bit restricted space down here unfortunately with all the bits in the way and the camera's in the way as well right I'm going to try and bring this hand round and I'm now going to try and hold this inner nut with that spanner so I'm going to hold this one and I'm going to turn that this way and obviously that hasn't tightened so I now need to put the spanner on again in fact I think I could probably do a little bit more with my hand yep just a little bit I can now put the spanner back on again if I can get in there <laughs> it's not actually as awkward as it looks it's just that with the camera in the way it does make it more awkward now I've got it firm now so I'm holding the right hand spanner steady and I'm just pulling the other one towards me and it's now just locked the two together so they are now tightened against each other so one cannot turn without the other one I'm going to double check that yep so I've got a bit of free play in the cable if I wiggle this cable see that shows it's not too tight if the cable was tight that would be pulling really hard against that and there wouldn't be any movement I'm just going to go back and check the pedal again to make sure so you may have noticed when I was pushing the pedal and measuring it the cable actually tightening uh, I've got around about 13 or 14 millimetre of movement now, which is fine. Not too much as I don't get the clutch drag and enough that it doesn't actually pull on the clutch all the time. So I'm going to just give it a test ride around the block now just to check it. If it's all okay, that's the job done. Always remember, as I said before, puffing and panting now after getting in and out of the car, um, if you decide to do this job yourself, then you do it at your own risk. Uh, I would take it to the local garage if you've got any doubts and if your garage is anything like mine the dealer that supplied this car little job like this he would charge you peanuts for this it only taking 10 minutes so uh, there we go hopefully that'll help you um, and uh, hopefully you get the job done safely thanks for watching bye